Welcome back to Stuttering Sports. Today is February 17th, 2021, and the topic of today is is J.J. Watt and where do I think he should go now that he is a free agent for the first time in his career. So without further ado, let's get right into it. J.J. Watt in 2020 had his probably his worst year yet. He had his career low in sacks. He had his career low in QB hits. And he also had not his not his career low, but he only had one more tackles for loss than he did during his rookie season. So you could tell that the three-time defensive player of the year is in a decline right now. And it is sort of sad to see because it is J.J. Watt. He is J.J. Watt. He's had 20 and a half sacks twice, twice in his entire career. That's absurd. He's had 39 tackles for loss during his second season. That is insane. But now that he is be- now that he has been released from the Texans, he did not want another rebuild situation, which the Texans are drastically going through right now. So, so where do I think is is both realistic for him to go and a very good situation for him? So the four teams that I have mapped out and the four teams I'm going to talk about today are probably the four most talked about teams. So it won't be like, at it won't be so any surprises during this video. It is definitely the Steelers, definitely the Browns with the recent news that has come out. I'd say the Packers, and then fourth and then fourth is the Tennessee Titans. So, so what I so what I plan on doing is going through each of those team situations and where I think J.J. Watt would fare with those teams. So let's start off with the Pittsburgh Steelers, probably the most likely destination. The Steelers last season were first in the league in sacks per game, leading the Rams by .1, getting 3.3 sacks per game. But now that Bud Dupree is most likely gone, that number will definitely drop. But but, but the thing that attracts J.J. to Pittsburgh is obviously his brothers Derek and T.J. both, 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 both being at Pittsburgh right now. And you kind of get the opportunity to build the Watt Brothers brand even more. They have the Subway commercials. They had that ultimate tag game on Fox. So with Pittsburgh, I do think you get the chance to build that Watt Brothers brand even bigger than it already is. And as Pittsburgh, I don't think they'll be in Super Bowl contention next year. I wouldn't count them out completely because they still are the Steelers. Pittsburgh has a phenomenal defense, and just if the offense can get together, maybe with the Randy Finkner firing and promoting Matt Canada to offensive coordinator, maybe the offense gets going a lot better than it was last year. So I don't view the Steelers as a contender right now, but I think counting them out is a very stupid idea so I do think JJ Watt if he wants the best mix of building his brand and winning then then I do think that Pittsburgh is that move am I I I would like to say though I don't think JJ really gives a shit about building his brand at this point he already has a massive brand he already has a bunch of money I think wherever he goes he's I think he's just going to take a team friendly contract and just try to win so I do think I'd like to put that out there. So yeah, I think Pittsburgh is probably the most likely destin- des- destination because he gets to play alongside TJ Watt. And it's a great idea for Pittsburgh because the more pass rushers, the better. I'm with Bud Dupree gone. You have Alex Highsmith the uh, now going into his sophomore season. He has to step up into that edge rusher position and well if you bring JJ there you have one a mentor and two a temporary guy who is a pretty good edge rusher shit I mean 17 QB hits does not lie so yeah moving on to the next team let's stay in the AFC North I have the Cleveland Browns the Browns are it was reported yesterday by a Browns reporter that the that a that uh, J.J. Watt is seriously considering going to the Browns, and that has to be phenomenal news for Cleveland. Just three years ago, going 0-16, and now they're a uh, now they're a destination for big free agents. That is very cool to me. But the Browns last season ranked 16th in sacks per in in sacks per game, putting up 2.2 sacks. 
Um, I think the Browns' offense is definitely their strong suit. I don't think anyone can debate that. But I do think from the Browns' perspective, bringing in J.J. Watt to be alongside Miles Garrett, that's a phenomenal idea. The Browns can also draft an edge rusher, maybe Aziz Ojulari from Georgia with their 26th pick. I think that would be a great idea. Um, the like the Browns D line could use some help, so I do think bringing in JJ Watt and uh, drafting a guy like Ojulari from Georgia during the first round could definitely help that pass rush up to, up up to be up to becoming a top ten pass rush. The Browns were ninth in opponent rushing yards per game last year, so. So why are the Browns appealing to J.J. Watt? I think it's definitely the prospect of of playing with Miles Garrett and knowing that the Browns are kind of one step away on the defensive side from being that elite defense. And uh, I think that J.J. Watt thinks he can be that one step away, and I do not blame him one bit. The Browns have a a great core of defensive guys, and if J.J. Watt can 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 like get that sacks per game up, can get that pass rush a lot better, which obviously he would. I think the Browns are a great destination for him because the Browns, they are they they are they are very close to being a great team, and maybe J.J. Watt can be the guy that kind of pushes that over. So yeah, moving on to the team that I think he would best fit in, and that is the Green Bay Packers. The Packers have needed like a pass rush for a while now <laughs> like their pass rush is not bad ranking 11th with 2.6 sacks per game it's not bad by any means but they could definitely use more on that side of the ball because no one is going to argue that the offense is the problem it's obviously not Rodgers was the MVP with Devonte Adams doing in doing insanely just crazy numbers so the defense is definitely the issue with the Packers, then if you're the Packers, I don't know what their GM's name is, but if you're LaFleur, then the Packers GM, you have to be looking at this going, we need to get this guy because the Packers are one step away. Like I was just talking about how the Browns are one step away. Well, the Packers are like a half step away. They are so close with Aaron Rodgers playing the way that he is playing. If, if that defense can just be a little better, I think they're Super Bowl bound, and I think J.J. Watt brings that. J.J. Watt obviously went to college in Wisconsin. He gets to go back to his home back in Green Bay. That would be a really cool idea, I assume, from a J.J. Watt's perspective to kind of go back to Wisconsin. But, yeah, I think Green Bay is probably his best decision if he wants to win now. He gets to play alongside Preston Smith, Zadarius Smith. I believe Kenny Clark is still on the team after this free agency period. Excuse me if that's wrong. But I do think the Packers is definitely the best option. The Packers defense is good. It's not great. And J.J. Watt could be the factor that makes them great. And assuming that Rodgers keeps playing like nearly at the level that he was playing at last season, then yeah, they're a Super Bowl team. And I think that J.J. Watt gets to go back to his home in Wisconsin and he also gets the best chance to win a Super Bowl because the Packers are a half step away from that so yeah I think the Packers are definitely the best fit for him moving on to the Tennessee Titans this is the fourth and final team the Titans are definitely in major need of pass rushers that's why I put them here and they're also just a and they're also just an overall good team. But yeah, their their defensive line is god awful, ranking 29th in sacks per game last year, giving up 1.4. I mean, excuse me, not giving up. Getting 1.4 sacks sacks per game. The fact that they made the playoffs with that is a testament to Derrick Henry and AJ Brown. That is absurd. But I do think I do think the appeal of going to Tennessee is kind of getting to be the man again if that intrigues J.J. Watt, which I don't think it does, as I said previously. But, I mean, I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy. Like, maybe that does intrigue him to get to be the number one edge rusher. But, yeah, I I put the Titans there. 
Uh, people have been talking about the Titans kind of purely because they are a good team and they are desperately looking for edge rushers. I do think Vrabel would be a cool coach for J.J. Watt that J.J. would probably enjoy greatly because uh, during that Week 17 speech where, where uh, J.J. was talking about the players and if you're not all in, like even in Week 17, you shouldn't be here. I think that screams Mike Vrabel. That would be a really cool connection to me. But this is probably the least likely of the destinations. I don't really see how this would appeal J.J. Watt that much, besides being the number one guy, but I don't think he cares about that. Uh, you get to stay... I get to... I get to stay in the NFC South and play the Texans twice a year, I guess, if that intrigues him. But yeah, I do think the Titans are definitely the least likely of the four. And to give a fifth bonus team, I do think Tampa Bay does definitely have to be considered. It be most and that's mostly for ring chasing. I mean obviously that's what a lot of players did last season and it worked. So I mean JJ Watt doing the same would not surprise me one bit because why wouldn't you just play alongside Tom Brady? But the but my only problem with that is is that the Buccaneers free agency list, you got Nadama Kinsu, Levante David, and Shaquille uh, Barrett all being free agents, all from that defensive line this season. So I do think the Buccaneers will focus on those guys first and foremost, just doing whatever they can to bring them back, and then they can maybe get J.J. Watt. That's why they're kind of the bonus team here, because there's a major asterisk. Because, I mean, Bruce Arians... I mean, he already said, like, your ass ain't leaving to all those guys. But, well, they might be leaving. <laughs> so, I would not be surprised if maybe a Shaq Barrett leaves. Then uh, that's where J.J. Watt steps in or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if J.J. Uh, went to Tampa. So, I would like to throw them in here. But I think Tampa has their own uh, major free agents to deal with first. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos kind of similar to this, hit the subscribe button. It's free, and you can just unsubscribe if you don't like the videos. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.